So, welcome to another league game in the Season 3 of the German TTS League. We have You Lose playing Scum and Surfing Finn playing Scum. Uh, you Lose is playing Han Solo, Denga and Asajj Ventress. Han Solo has Trickshot, Kira, Agile Ghana, and the Lando's Millennium Falcon title. <clears throat> Dengar has a Marksmanship, Autoblasters, Triple Zero, Greedo, and Contraband Cybernetics. And Asajj has Heightened Perception and Shadowcaster title. And Surfing, play, uh, Surfing Finn is playing, um, yeah, a little something like, like a Palop Swarm. Palop in the Moldy Crow with title, Seismic Charges, and Elusive. And um, Captain Seavor, annoying piece in every scum list. Uh, three cartel spaces, one with auto blasters, one with uh, tractor beam, and no, two with auto blasters, and one binary pirate for maybe blocking, annoying, getting in the way. Very interested to see what this match will bring. Speaking of. Um, you can bet again. <clears throat> who do you think who will win the game? I will let the betting start now and you have 10 minutes time to place your bets. Type in exclamation mark bet, then number one for left player or two for the right player and the amounts of wicked points that you want to bet. So for example, one bet on number one you lose i'll bet 100 points that would work like this but i as the host don't have any wicked points now so and at the end of the game i'll check who has won the match either one you lose or two surfing fin and then i will pay out the points depending on uh if you have bet on the winner So blue side is number two. Yep, yep. Green Viper, thanks for the prime sub. Eight months. Thank you very much. And you got me a nice new emote. Thanks, Green Viper. <laughs> So it looks like Surfifin has spread out his ships. Yep, yep. And um, yeah, he wants to be a threat. Nickel City X Wing. You're my fire, my one desire. Thank you very much for the sub. Uh, I did uh, give out points for the first round, yes. I, ch I I picked the winner and then stream element should have paid out the bets. So uh, let's focus on the game rights for, for a second. So yes, spread out. So the surfing fin has spread out all his ships to um, like like all over the board to cover as much space as possible. Uh, which is probably really clever. They don't have to be in, in, in a compact formation because um, there are no interactions, uh, synergies depending on range between those ships. So you can like build up a net and then close in on one of the big ships. We have three big bases on Yulu's side. Uh, danke. We don't have... We, we don't see that too often, to be honest. Uh, we know that Dengar is dangerous, especially for the for the points. He's only 65 points. He can shoot with up to four dice in a Bullseye Auto Blaster range one. He has Greedo, so he can shoot first. He can get that crit in. He has Marksmanship for another crit. A real crit machine, this Dengar. Han Solo, I'm a fan. I, I'm a fan of Scum Han Solo. I have, I'm honest. He's, he's so cheap. Um, he's a little bit difficult to play, in my opinion, because you have to align those those trick shot shots uh, very good. 
Um, yeah. So, so far, does it double the points? Or how much do you get if you place the right bet? I think you get the points back that you... Uh, so, the double the points should be, yeah. So, please, please bear in mind I'm doing this betting thing for the first time. <laughs> but it should have worked. Okay, it's not double, it's a percentage of the total pot based on who bet what. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, I have not read in instructions. <laughs> yes, I'm using stream elements, not, 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 uh, not uh, what's the other one? Streamlabs. Because I'm using stream elements for everything else. Um, so I wanted to do... I wanted to use stream elements for this as well. No, you're not stupid. Maybe I'd have to try Streamlabs as well for that. I have a Streamlabs account. I even used Streamlabs OBS for streaming before. Um, but uh, I, I switched to OBS Studio because it runs better on the system and it's not, not, it's not taking up so much, so much CPU. That's why I switched over. So, looks like both players are ready. So, I'm just letting the players know that they can start whenever they're ready. So all big base ships, all three ships, Dangar, Asash and uh, Han are placed like in the middle of the board. So there we go, they start the time. Red M3A zooming in, well, not too fast. Looks like maybe these th three ships here are covering like 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 the left side of the board. Binary is still placed somewhere in the center, so he has a good lane to approach wherever he wants. Palop staying a little behind for now. Asash has a lot of space here in this area, can cover a lot of ground, is very fast with that big base, uh, and might be able even to, to, to get shots in the next round, depending on what Seaver and the green M3 will do. The obstacle field is looking quite nicely for Han, I think. There's a good chance that he will trigger his ability and trick shot for for a couple of shots. I think it always comes down to that. If you're playing Han solo uh, for scum, uh, he's as he is as so much use as how many times you can really trigger that, that that shot through an obstacle, those obstructed shots. Otherwise, he's just like a... How do you call it? 
a limp biscuit? Or a wet noodle? I think I've heard that before. So you have just a little bit more than one minute left to place your bets. For now, it looks like most of you guys have uh, have, have chosen one side. I won't tell you which side for now, <laughs> but you can see like most of most of you bet on number two, so on surfing Finn. I mean, he has a lot of ships uh, against three big bases, which is good for surfing Finn. Uh, means that he probably will have the opportunity to take a lot of shots, but those three ships can hit hard. Oh no, no longer accepting bets? Why not? It says 10 seconds still. I don't know why he's not taking any bets anymore. I uh, like I said, I have to I have to um I have to read instructions. I just rushed to to set it up. So the contest has ended. Select an option to re reward your viewers. So I will do that, of course, after the game has ended. Fugzaman, thank you for following. Oh, haven't you been a follower before? Ah. <laughs> that name seems to be familiar. Anyway, uh, glad that you're here and thanks for watching. I thought so. Yeah, I thought so as well. How uh, maybe that? Maybe, maybe I've seen you in, in 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 the Hexile chat. Oh, remind me after this game to raid the Hexile uh, gaming channel. I forgot to do it last time, and I felt bad afterwards. So Han has um, his arc pointed to the left and the right. He rotated his arc as an action. There we go. So we will have the so first shot for Han and is an, it is, it is, oh God, words are hard. It is an obstructed shot. So Dengar uh, should have gone a little bit faster, maybe, to get as much out of that uh, pilot ability of Dengar. So, Dengar, what is Dengar going to do? Was checking for triple zero, just for range measurement, I guess. I mean, like I said, he's a fairly new player, so range measurement is hard, especially on TTS. So, Dengar shooting on the binary pilot F a four dice shot
So let's see what Han can do. Three hits, that is not too bad. Uh, we'll spend the focus, so only takes one damage. First blood. First shield gone. Uh, Fugues writing, good to stay in the habit of remembering triggers even when you know it's too far. Helps you remember later. That is true. Oh my god. How many times have I forgotten something like triple zero before? So Dinger cannot shoot binary pirate. His arc spawned to the left and auto blaster is only range 1 to 2. That is only one. Can change that into a crit because of Greedo. Even if it does not make doesn't make a difference, but you have to use that charge. Otherwise, uh, when you're getting attacked and the charge is still active, then the opponent can use that on you and change one hit into a crit result. And you don't want to have that. So green. Shooting first, I could imagine all shots going into Denka because you might have four shots even on Denka. Yeah, so green on Denka. Uh, spending the focus for two hits. So, Dengar safe. Another shot. Again, two hits. Ah, Dengar evades again. Dodgy Dengar. No, red M3A. Red has auto blasters. Um, so if the defenders in your Bolt's arc, roll one additional die. Maybe he shot primary or he forgot. So, but that means that Dengar sh can shoot back. And he shoots back with two. Two natural hits. Oh, so that means Red is going to take one. So, yeah, shooting Han was not good for Red. I for because one thing is he probably forgot that he has one die more with auto blasters in Bolt's Eye attack. If a defender is in your Bolt's Eye, roll one additional die. Yeah, and he only rolled two. And the other thing is the return shot cost him a shield. So, uh, but we're back to dials now. So, Denga probably just going one straight. Has to be careful because there are probably coming more shits shots in now and uh, they're going to be in range one i mean dengar could 
try to go fast. And even if, if, if binary closes in, if red is going to close in, you might try to hop over, but there's still yellow. So you might as well try because you're probably uh, going to uh, get bumped anyway. Uh, to get blocked. Gotrek Slayer asking, is he shooting with the auto blaster? Um, I, I think he forgot. I think uh, he, he only rolled two. He d I don't know if he said I'm shooting with the auto blaster because then it says roll one additional die. So I have to assume that he shot primary. Probably just forgot. I don't know if he's playing this list for the first time. I have not seen a game of Surfing Finn in a while. We had him on stream before, I think during one uh, uh, during the streams of one of the 90 Cups tournaments. So b both players are ready for the next round. Okay, uh, yeah, Binary Pirate. Getting in the way of Dengar, setting up a block. Oh, he's going to barrel roll. Mm, which I th I like. Because that also puts you in the way of Han. M3A might even get a bullseye shot on Han. But if the Binary blocks Dengar. Uh, Red is going to take a range one auto blaster bolts I shot. So that means four dice. No mods, but still. Maybe one calculate as a mod, depending on if Surfing Finn is taking the stress or letting Dengar take the calculate. So, and now there's no way that Dengar is getting out of this. Mm, might even have to face a primary shot from Pale Up from the front arc with three dice. No focus token it's to steal for Pale Up anyway. Why was he undoing that? I don't know. So Asash turning in very close to that obstacle here. Has to be careful next round to not clip that rock here. Um, the target locks here. I gotta check. This one is from Han, so he. Could go over that asteroid. Next round. Ooh, okay. Wow. I thought he would he would not fit into that. Because oh that is very close. That is a very, very good move for Denga here.
So, Dengar a little bit in danger here now. We'll get some shots. So, uh, triple zero. On which ship is he going to use triple zero? I would choose the binary pirate because you want to have that calculate for modification for your own shot. Or maybe uh, choosing green, because if he is stressed, uh, Han will get a shot more because of the Lando title. While you perform a primary attack against a stressed ship, roll one additional attack die. Which is also good. So either way, get one die more with Han, which means four dice in range one. Or get an offensive mod with Dengar. And he chooses to take the stress. Han approves this message. So, which means Hans is going to shoot on uh, green M3A with four dice. He does not have any mods. Relies on natural hits or crits. So, let's see, that is hit crit, has to spend the focus, also good for Han, probably didn't expect to uh, deal t too much damage anyway, so taking away that uh, focus is good for Han as well. So, Dengar, Auto Blaster, range two, three dice. Let's see if Dengar remembers that he gets one additional die if he shoots in. Or he, or he, or he could focus fire on, on green. Because he does not have a token anymore. It's also three dice. And could have a potential shot on Paylob if uh, with his revenge shot. I mean, Paylob is way more expensive. Paylob is 64 points. It's tempting to shoot Paylob and dare him to shoot on you so that you can sh shoot on him twice. Yeah, that's exactly what he does. <gasps> Ooh, gets hit hit crit at least one damage coming into payload takes it takes it all takes all three so two hits and a crit has elusive Ooh. still takes it let's see what the crit is Weapons failure. Oh, wow. Okay, that that is a really, really bad start for surfing, Finn. I see your bets go down the drain, boys. <laughs> Oof, yeah.
So, Seaver has a shot. Yeah, I shoot on Danga. Give him the option to shoot on you, which he won't do. <laughs> because you want to scare Paylob. Okay. One hit. Yeah. Got it. Will Paylob shoot? I'm wondering. Dangerous. I mean, you probably... Uh, why is Paylob only rolling two? Yes, the title, does he? What happened? Ah, uh, weapons failure. Yeah, he had a weapons failure. Forgot about weapons failure. Ah, okay. So the revenge shot took Palob down. Wow. Ooh. He should not have shot with, with Palob here. The risk of getting getting taken down was way too way too high, in my opinion. Maybe he thought, okay, I, uh, that was that went so bad for me, I might as well try it. So N three A range one. That is the red one. So Dengar has lost two shields now. Han Solo lost one. And takes another two. So a shield's gone on Han. Still, that was a very good round for you lose taking down surfing fins most expensive and probably most valuable uh, piece in general so denga probably um, doing a k turn Or might even try to do something like a heart one. Getting shots on... On Sivo here. Uh, HG Wood asking, did green N3A had no arc on Han? Mm. I would say that he had to team measure. I didn't get that because I was I was busy with keeping keeping up with the with the damage that has been dealt. Sorry. Mm. 
Mm, Carthal Space are three checks for targets in the front arc. No valid targets. Okay, looks like he didn't have arc on Han. Hmm. Interesting. I would have thought as well that he had arc. Zweebelzack in the chat. I think the hawk is still a few points too expensive. Yes, definitely. I think Moldy Crow is just too expensive. Yeah, title back to 12 points. I mean, 12 points is still a lot. I mean, it, it grants you a lot. You get, you get, um, you get a primary weapon arc uh, to the front with three dice, which is, of course, is worth a lot. But I mean, what is it now? 16 points or something? Uh, 18 points. Title is 18 points. That is just way too much. Yeah, 18 points. I mean, come on. Something like, I don't know, maybe 14 points. Maybe even 15, but, but still, then, I don't know. Focus stacking plus bonus three dice front arc. Yeah, I mean, it gives you a lot of value. Absolutely, no doubt. And 12 points probably was too cheap. Uh, but I think 18 is, 18 is too much. Put it somewhere in between. 14 points. So yellow oh, wanted to, to perform, um, looks like a 5k, but bumped into his own ship. So... Oh, Assange, it looks like he did not overlap. That rock here. That is very good for you lose. Check in for target lock. Takes the lock on Sivor. So Seaver put himself in the way of trying to block Dengar's possible incoming K-turn. So, um, ah, not working. So he used contraband cybernetics. What is he going for as an action?
So it's rotating the arc, yeah. If you're shooting on uh, on Seavor, your token gets gemmed anyway because of Seavor's ability. Han, uh, getting out of the way there very nicely. I have to say, you lose is doing that very, very good here. Mm, could maybe take a target lock on on red. Red already lost the shield, and you get a nice range one shot. But Han turned his arc to the back. Why? Wants, maybe he wants to kill off the binary? I don't know. Because, or he wants to shoot on yellow because he's stressed. He gets one additional die. So, triple zero. Takes the stress, which gives Han another die more on Seavor. Mm, why two stress? Uh, ah, Sasha's arc is to the front. Mm, they were checking before Sasha's arc, so. Um, yeah, it is range 2. Okay, I, I thought it would be range 3, but. So. Jamming off that target lock. Range three, no focus. So, nothing for Denga here. Han has a range two shot. Mm, where's that target lock from? Oh, that is from Massage. So he's shooting on yellow, range one, on a stress chip, gives him four dice. Only one. Yeah. And yellow evades. That leaves Asash, has a range two obstructed shot, but Asash has a target lock. Let's see what she can do. That is one hit. Will she spend the lock? Looks like it, yeah. Ah, for nothing, only one. Uh, using the force for two. So force gone, and Seaver evades. So now Seaver can take a shot on Dengar, but has to fear the return shot. Only one. Yeah, but gets it. So now, Dengar. Oh, 
Oh, another good roll for Denga here. Hit, crit, crit. Ooh, Seaver needs natural evades now. Gets at least two. So, only taking a crit. Lose a stabilizer. Uh, which basically beats another another hit because I don't think. Well, he he could do a two straight and just bump to avoid the damage, getting rid of one stress. So no, we have uh, the. And 3A, he has no mods, but Han will take a crit. It's a direct hit. So slowly but surely, surfing Finn, fighting back into the game. So Red has an auto blaster shot on Asash. She's got no force anymore, and that is it. Crit. So takes both shields gone on Asash. And that's it for this round. Back to Dalts. So, uh, I'd say another good round for you lose, although Surfing Finn was able to deal some damage. Han Solo losing all shields and two hull points. Uh, Dengar has one shield left. And Asash losing her two shields. Uh, still probably a better round for you lose because that crit isn't so far um dangerous because um basically you are forced to do a straight maneuver down now because you probably don't want to get that 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 hit from loose stabilizer because that would mean half points on Seavor, so another 15 points on you lose's account. So if we look at win conditions for surfing Finn, um, you need either Denga or Asash, or half Denga, half Asash, half of Han and half of Asash, half of Denga and half of Han would be... 31. Uh, that would even it out. That would mean the 64 points on both sides. You probably want to try to get Han now. Only one agility. Down to six hull.
So, three turns Sivo, try block. Han and Tenga and somehow not get tractored. Yeah, the thing is, like I said before, the loose stabilizer would mean because the K turn does not count as an on straight maneuver that you would suffer one damage. And that means another 15 points for uh, you lose. So the green and 3A during a K turn. Yeah, and Sivo just performed the straight maneuver. Bumping into Dengar. And with bumping into Dengar means there might be an option option. Uh, that, um, that 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 Dengar is going to bump it to Seaver, and that means one less shot. So only Han having a shot. So Seaver might live after this round. There is a chance, <laughs> even if it's not very high, with Han closing in now. So, uh, which action did Han take? Mm, taking a lock on red. Yeah, because because Sivor is going to jam that away from you anyway if we would have taken it on him. Oh, Denga will get a shot on Sivor. Dengar has two stress? No. No, we only have one. Seawar had two. But now should have only one left. Didn't need 4k plus target lock rotate. Uh, yeah, you're right. He uh, rotated his arc. So, Dengar still has one left. Schmetrosh, good evening. Thanks for the raid. Nice to have you here. Raid. <laughs> So triple zero, Seavor getting another stress. So so I guess these two are from Seavor and that one belongs to Dengar. So Han. I guess we'll shoot on 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 Seavor. No, he's not. Why not? Why is he shooting on red and three A? You only get three. Oh wow, okay, if you roll like that, oh... 
So, um, is taking hit and crit. Fulig, okay, so that doesn't matter. Down to one hull. Brutal. So... Dengar can try to finish off... Seavor. Or take the auto blaster shot to finish off red. Let's see what Dengar decides to shoot. Yeah, it goes for Seavor. Gets to crit. And Seaver is dead. So this is going to be an uphill battle. <laughs> if it has not been won before, you lose. Leading 108 to zero points. Wow. The red and 3A. Oh yeah, Asashi still has a shot. On green. It looks good for my bet. Yeah, if you've bet on, on, on you lose, then it's looking very good. Large ugly sub scum ships are good. Good thing there is no YV666, the ugliest ship in the game. I like the YV666. It's not the prettiest, but I think it's sort of cool. Uh, okay, yeah, with only one head. So, Asash, did she stress somebody with the forest? I did not get that. So, um, red and 3A. Is he going to shoot? I mean, he will. Oh, on, on. Okay, I thought. I thought. So, shooting Denga will, probably would would not have been very wise. Hit crit. Not too bad. Means at least the crit is coming in. Yeah, Han takes both hit and crit. Uh, the crit is blinded. Which is not good because that means you cannot add dice. Because... Uh, oh, it says roll one additional attack die. Is that modifying your dice? You can add them, right? That has been a 1.0 thing. So... But cannot use focus or target locks. Two hits. Okay, Han down to two. So Han Solo on the edge.
Okay, so they're back to adults. Um, let's see. Asajj, is it a good spot to... Oh, no, probably not. She has a 4K turn. Ooh. The 4K turn will bring you very close to that edge here. Ah, probably too far. Uh, just closing in on, on yellow and, and binary pirate here. Try to avoid the block from green. Han, I could imagine, just like... Get away. Don't, don't give your opponent half points. Fast bank maneuver, boost away. Or bump into Dengar. That could be an option as well. There's still a green who might take a shot. And green is still completely healthy. So I don't think that you can avoid all shots with Han. Or you could just face uh, losing, losing Han, but trying to deal as much damage as you can um, before you go down. I mean, even if you lose Dengai, uh, Han, you're, you're still up on points. And there's a good chance that, that Red is going to die before that. You probably cannot force a bump for green. I wouldn't know how. He moves first. Yeah. He didn't use Age Algana. Arcs is still front and back. Yeah, I think they're front and back. They say are Age Algana. What is he doing again? Let me check. Uh, during the end phase, you may rotate your arc indicator. Yeah. He did not do that, so... Might not go this way. So green. Clear, clearing the stress. Taking a focus. A binary turning around with a hard two. Barrel rolling. I think even a hard three from massage would fit. Wow. Oh, he did fly off the board. Does the chat show you if it is off the board? Do the nups count? Oh, they do. Ah, okay. Chat does not show you. Are oh, the naps count? Right, 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 right. Oh, wow. And yellow was still completely healthy. Yeah, well, um... GG, I'd say. Well, you, you, nev you should never say, like, something too early. But I don't think Surfing Finn is going to recover from that. Um. 
Yeah, right. The, um, even during setup. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, you're right. I know that you cannot set up uh, your ship with the nubs pointing like like over over the board. But they may be out of range one, yeah. So, uh, two hits from... I think that was Han. Uh, the N3 AE dodged that. Is Dengar going for green? Why? Why would you go for green? You can kill red. Or did he not decide yet? Okay, I thought... I thought he was shooting on green. So, uh, range one shot with a calculate that hit three hits. Spin the calculate, spin the calculate, yeah. Changing one to a crit with Greedo. And red is dead. So, Asash can take a shot on binary pirate. Could spend a force, but that might not be worth it. Uh, leaves it at that. So, Banana Pirate gets a shot back. For one. Spends the force, maybe? Yeah. Just to be safe. Oh, why? He, why is he shooting on Denga? Does he want to get hurt? So could spend the focus. I, I thought just you know never. You know what? I don't mind. So Denga losing his last shield. Getting a shot back. I mean, it's bullseye shot, so it's three. Has no mods. So, okay, nothing. So it was worth it, but still risky. Those Denga return shots have been a very, very... Uh, dangerous in this game here. All right, one hundred fifty points to thirty one points. You lose might clear the board, taking all 200 points. Um, did he use Agile Gunner now? L looks like he did. Who's the target lock from? From the binary pirate? It must have been from one of the first rounds. Uh, team on the chat's writing, looks like Han can escape. Yeah, I think so too. Should be safe if he dials in something like a hard two and boost. Uh, probably will be too fast for, for green here. 
for Banana Pirate in any case. I mean, you could try to barrel roll and try to get a shot on Han, but is it worth it? I don't know. So, Asash, uh, her arc is pointed to the right. I think she used her action to rotate the arc, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Can you boost out of range? Yeah, I think so. can boost there, there, there will probably be yeah there definitely will be uh at least one maybe even two rounds left but you cover up you, you can cover enough space i mean you can ri get rid of the stress mm. and if it and if it is not out of range then um you can you can you can get a obstructed shot i guess maybe Nah, hard to tell. We will see. So, again, um, calculate for Denga with triple zero. Asash can stress. Probably would have kept the stress, uh, kept the focus for, um, for dice modification. It is obstructed. Okay. So, it is four dice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Uh, only one. So, N3A with five dice should be fine. Yeah, plenty of evades. So, Dengar can take a shot on Banana Pirate in range 2 with the Auto Blaster Y3. Yeah, okay, they just they just checked it. Okay. 4. Would you spend that one? Or just keep it for defense. Yeah. yeah, spend it because of Greedo, because you don't want to have the binary pirate to have Greedo for himself. Binary pirate takes the shield, so half points for him as well. So, Asash, range one. For one, and yeah, binary pirate is safe. So, no shots on Han. Binary pirate shooting on Dengar for nothing. We'll keep the focus for defense because Dengar has a shot back. Revenge shot for one. Oh. And Banana Pirate blanks out. So that's another damage into Banana Pirate. Yeah. Fuchs said Pirate. True. Yeah. 
He said, because Hondo isn't here yet to lead him. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I'm so excited for Hondo. All right, if you have seen it, if you're one of our uh, patrons, the uh, alt art for quarter four uh, will be uh, a Hondo alt, alt art, which is really awesome. Yeah, Hondo is going to be my favorite upgrade card ever, depending on the points. So, five minutes to go. Looks like both players are ready. Maybe not yet. Yeah, now they're ready. Banana Parrot tries to get a shot on Han. Clears the stress, takes the focus. M3A doing a K turn. Sash uh, probably won't get a shot. At least not a primary shot, just from the side arc. Takes the target lock. Wants to finish off that banana pirate. I mean, there's a good chance he only ha he only has um, one hull left. So Han looks like he does not want to um, turn away. Wants to wants to stay in the fight. Uh, what did Han take as an action? Took a focus, maybe for for an obstructed shot on on the N three A, relying on. Asash to take a shot? Where is Dengar's arc? I think it's to the... Oh yeah, Han has blinded pilot. Yeah, they don't... Do not have to forget that. They must not forget that. Maybe it wants to have the focus for defense. Yeah, Dengar's arc still to the right. So Han has... An obstructed shot at range three. So five dice. Obstructed trick shot. Moment. Blinded. Blinded. They dealt damage to to him, right? Hmm. Don't know if they've read that. Yeah. 
Let me just check in with the players for one second. Ah, ja, der darf seinen Fokus nicht ausgeben, stimmt. Ja, der hat ja einen Stimmt, 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 ah. stimmt. Dann sind es nur zwei gewesen, dann bist du evaded, glaube ich, gell? Äh, ne, ich bin einem evaded, dann gehen die zwei Schadenskarten zurück. Ja. Sorry. Danke. Oh. Das war einfach... Toll, danke, jetzt dürfen wir länger spielen. Okay, so they said there has been one evade and two. Uh, two hits and one evade, so only one shield off of green. So, and looks like um, Han is gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So, that's, that was time in the round. So, uh, no half points for green anymore. But still, a 161 to 62 point win for you lose. Congratulations. I will select the winner here for your points. So player one has won. So, and now... For anybody who has bet on uh, play number one, you shall get some points now. So, uh, if you need some more X-Wing content, uh, for more X-Wing content, check out Gold Squadron Podcast, Hexar Gaming, Nickel City X-Wing, Birmingham Barons, Firestorm, Firestorm Squadron Firecast, or Sith Takers here on Twitch. Thanks for watching.